No, yes, I agree with you. Uh, and this is why if this uh, heinous crimes are being perpetrated by the elites, such elites are being covered and protected uh, by, by, by those who, who, who have been elected or who have been appointed uh, to, uh, to, keep the law, to keep law and order. So this is very, very, very unfortunate, and we hope that the police will get to the bottom of it. You know, could, could you tell us, if I could take you back to the past situation, I know you talked about the fact that uh, generation and distribution has been privatized. What about transmission? The government is solely in charge of that. I mean, the other day we were told that we hit a milestone. No, yes, go ahead, please. No, we hit a milestone in, uh, in power generation. <coughs> Transmission is contracted to Manitoba of Canada. So really, you can see that the government has no direct involvement in the power sector today, except to regulate the, the sector. Well, fuel is supposed to sell at 86 naira 50 kobo. That was the last announcement made by the minister. But today, in different parts of the country, I mean, you get even as much as 165 naira per liter. The president is the Minister of Petroleum Resources. What is he doing about that? Well, you, you see, there's a lot of sabotage going on. Uh, there's a lot of um, exploitation going on. The regulatory uh, bodies, such as DPR, uh, they are doing their best. But once you create artificial scarcity, the result is, uh, is arbitrary uh, price, um, prices. Uh, th this is why we are so concerned and worried about this incessant uh, shutdown of uh, gas plants and uh, attack at critical you know, installations. You know, if you look if at this. free flow, you can, you can always maintain uh, you know, um, uniform prices. Alhaji, you've heard that, you know, some people are importing petroleum because the, the, the independent marketers have said that, you know, they are being held as the scapegoat, that they, they buy from all those depots, you know, the depots that also bring in their product at a different price and they sold to them at a different price. Is government taking into cognizance that this also happens? Well, the truth of the matter is that today, NMPC is responsible for almost 90% of all products are, are brought in. But unfortunately, they don't have the capacity to distribute. So they have to rely on uh, many of the big uh, companies to distribute. And this is, I think, where the real uh, uh, gridlock is. You know, the problem there is, uh, we go back to the private depots here. You must have seen on live television of an Ipman executive who insisted that he got uh, his petroleum product far above the price and uh, he would uh, sell uh, in order for him to recoup his uh, money and also make a bit of profit. So what is the government doing in that regard when such allegations come from people in the industry? Well, I think the DPR is looking into the matter. And again, we must upgrade infrastructure in the area of, um, in the area of distribution. It, it again goes back to vandalism. Uh, rather than allow the pipelines to, to supply the, the product, we, we now have a situation because of the, at the attack on the pipelines that um, people come all the way from Ore, from Masimi, from Ilori, from Ibadan, and Ibadan, all to come and load in a papa. This, of course, will create uh, confusion in the process. People will exploit the situation. And then you have people selling that above the the, 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 the regulator price. Because when a man has kept, man has like, uh, or slept in a, a papa for five days, he's willing to pay any premium to get his product. 
What is the government thinking about fuel subsidy? Is it going to be removed or has it been removed? Because when you speak to Labour, they tell you, listen, we don't understand all that argument. As far as they are concerned, it's not been removed. Well, I think uh, it's very simple. The government has said at uh, the cost that with the low uh, price of crude today, there's no subsidy in the pump price. And secondly, that the government is looking at the template to, 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 to eliminate the rent seeking and eliminate corruption so that even when the price of food goes up, we will still be able to sell at the same level. Can we then say that the government has done away with the fuel subsidy concept? I think the government is not concentrating on the issue of subsidy. Rather, the government is more concerned about reading the entire industry of corruption and inefficiency and getting a more market-based um, price. But, but the fuel subsidy is a very serious issue, and we know the kind of attention it gets in this country. So uh, is the government dismissing it with a wave of hand? No. The government is actually uh, addressing it more robustly. The government is going to the root of the inefficiency in the industry. And once you eliminate the inefficiency and corruption, then of course you are going to get a price that will be acceptable to everybody. Will that mean that government will continue fixing or regulating uh, the prices? Uh, precisely not. The government is not fixing. The government is saying that with the price of the crude today, it, it's not logical to say that you are, you are subsidizing the cost of, um, of, the, of the refined product. And also that even when the price of food increases, with better management and uh, less corruption, we can still get you know, an affordable price. In other words, government does not subscribe to that school of thought of the principle of fuel subsidy. But then the, the fuel situation across the world, we've seen the price dwindle. Many ask, so why doesn't the price ever go down here? Well, the price of fuel will not go down here simply because we are yet to be self-sufficient in a, in a refined product. When our refineries start working, then you get a better cost-reflective uh, price. For some people, it's a big win because they believe that the refineries, some of them are obsolete and should be sold. Well, I think the Minister of State for Petroleum has uh, spoken of this, and we're looking at a mix of either selling, of either selling, rehabilitating, but, but at the end, uh, I think the end game is that by 2018, we will not be importing any uh, drop of uh, refined product. Even for the refinery in Kaduna, which we understand wasn't built to refine Nigerian crude? Well, the, the, the aim, aim of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the government is to ensure that the old refineries are made to work and new ones are put in place but definitely by 2018, the country will become a net exporter of refined product. By the time the refinery being planned by the Dangote group is online, clearly the, the situation will, Im will improve tremendously. You, you know, you just mentioned <coughs> uh, a great Nigerian who is uh, trying to see that this is over in the, the, in the, in the future. But what are you doing? in terms of uh, saboteurs which your government has mentioned because if you say there are saboteurs in the system in uh, sabotaging the effort of the government in getting electricity and even petroleum product don't you also fear that these same saboteurs will be there to 
make it difficult for even the Dangote refinery in the future to come on stream? Well, I think this one area where we all have to join, us, join hands to help government and help the economy. I think if the people are as critical of the vandals and saboteurs as they are critical of government, uh, the, it will be it will be much better for everybody. I, I think the 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 public, the media, should also join the government in the war, uh, condemning saboteurs and condemning vandal, you know, uh, vandalism. Uh, sometimes you, you you begin to wonder what the interest. So I think it's a, it's a it's a it's a challenge to all of us. All right, you just give us a moment. We need to uh, uh, take a look at another look at the headline news, but we'll be back and conclude our thoughts with you and then take some questions from some of those who are watching. So.